A happy send-off today for National Guard members who stepped up when COVID-19 was coming down hard on St. Elizabeth Healthcare in Northern Kentucky. As David Winter reports, they're sad to leave, but they hope they don't have to return. Staff at St. Elizabeth Healthcare in Fort Thomas showing their appreciation to National Guardsmen deployed to their hospital at the height of the pandemic. I don't know what we would have done without them, quite honestly. RN Tricia Shields gets a goodbye hug from 2nd Lieutenant Griffin Fister. Just their presence here alone, um, just kind of told the community what kind of a crisis we were in. Um, they came in, they made beds, they brought in smiles. Um, just super helpful. Staff Sergeant Andrew Naley recalls one night that was particularly difficult. It lasted a long time that night did, but I mean, every day is, is a challenge. You just got to take that challenge one step at a time. Uh, we we're glad we could come in and help you guys out and do what we could. This was a second tour of duty for several of these guardsmen, first deployed for the Delta variant in September, then back in January for Omicron, when there were 266 COVID positive patients at St. E's. Now it's down to 24. And while there is a sense of mission accomplished here, these guys say if they're needed, they'll be back. And then I personally have one for you. In the meantime, honor medals and memories exchanged. They were just a welcome addition. We're going to miss them. Um, and we appreciate you guys welcoming us in and then uh, sending the boss, sending us off like this as well. So thank you all. David Winter, Local 12 News. And this Thursday will mark exactly two years since Saney's first COVID-positive patient.